to today's G.I. Joe toy review and uh, we are doing an actual on-site location this week at beautiful Lake Holiday here in Virginia beautiful beautiful lake um, today our toy review will be on the laser Viper but before we get to our to our uh, subject of the week let's look at our shout outs of the week at as we do as always uh, Back to the media at 41 South Loughton Street in Winchester, Virginia. We can get all video game needs back off starting from all the way in the Atari back in the 80s. All the way up to current logos or current game systems like the PS3 and Xbox 360 and all those other stuff. And then while you're in the neighborhood, go to Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles at 115 South Loudon Street. To know more of what they're about, you can check out the archived video, walkthrough video I did of the store. You can see exactly what they got and meet Charles and Jack in that video. And after you leave the walking mall, you go to 80 Weems Lane in Winchester, Virginia. And check out Four Color Fantasies, the comic book store. We get new titles, back issues, role playing stuff, uh, collector stuff, and whatnot. And if you're in need of any form of counseling, you can go to... 133 West Bascowan Street, Suite, uh, 133 West Bascowan Street, Suite Number 10, and see uh, Robert C. Brown, who is the head counselor of Healing Grace Community Services, reaching hearts, changing lives. So go ahead and check them out. So let's take a look at our subject, Mr. Laser Viper, which says Cobra Laser Troopers, code name Cobra Laser Vipers. File name is Farius. Primary military specialty heat generated weapon systems, or in other words, lasers. Secondary military specialty web special weapons development, birthplace various. Cobra laser vipers carry a man portable directed energy weapon with a compact and lightweight power generator backpack. At close range, they just need a few seconds of beam emission time to make evident the thermal cutting effects of their unique weapon. These troopers have extensive mechanical engineering knowledge and ensures the ensures frugal use of their resources by maximizing the destructive effectiveness of each laser discharge. Laser weapons are only effective at eliminating targets at a relatively short ranges because of the amount of energy lost through atmospheric dis 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 dissipation. Therefore, the primary function of Cobra Laser Vipers on the battlefield are target illumin illumination at a safe distance, allowing the Cobra Bat or Battery Android Trooper units to perform their programmed functions of destruction. Quote at the bottom says, get close enough and we'll make it, we'll make it overly hot for you. You know, that tastes a lot about Laser Viper. I like these file cards that go into, uh, more detail of who the character was and uh which is pretty cool so let's take a look at his accessories always always as a general rule for me anyway we'll look at his figure stand first upraised cobra logo cobra laser vipers on the front and it does say vipers because he was a three pack just like heli viper last week he also comes with this little handheld pistol right here which is pretty cool you know that's a pretty cool looking laser and then he's got his laser rifle, which is very similar to the laser rifle that comes with Sci-Fi, who I'll be looking at later on. Which has a little standard G.I. Joe hose with it that goes from the gun to this little generating backpack, which is the same backpack as Sci-Fi, but it's the laser vipers is blue. Which, like I said, we'll do laser viper later on. And he also comes with this standard futuristic type of helmet on. Which is pretty cool. So here's the laser viper. So you see he's got his gray balaclava mask. Which, which is pretty standard. Caucasian skin tone. And he's got a gray suit with blue overall padding on it. With his black boots. Silver belt with the cover logo right there. He's a pretty cool looking figure I think. Now let's just take a look at his articulation. Head could ro rotate 360. Has good up and down motion. His arm can raise to raise it there. 
and as well as rotate the full 360. He can bend at the elbow. He can also rotate at the elbow, as well as rotate at the wrist. Mm. See if I can get it. He's a little. His wrist is a little tight. At least on this uh, this example. But yeah, you get the wrist movement. He does have the ab crunch feature, which is pretty surprisingly pretty easy to look locate and use. He's also got his leg spread spread about that far. His legs can raise full 90 degrees. Double knee joint, which is pretty cool. And he can also bend at the ankle as well as rotate a full 360 at the ankle. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, laser fibers gear mode, which is right here. And uh, I'm just putting this little laser inside of his holster right here on the side. But this is laser viper in gear mode. Like I said, it's a three pack, so I could easily show the example review example plus one in battle gear. I still have an extra one at home. Uh, but this is the laser viper in battle gear. He, I don't remember Laser Viper in the Deke series. He wasn't in the um, Sumbo series because he came after the Sumbo series had already ended. But uh, he was, I, I don't, I think he was in the Deke series. I'm not positive. But I know he was in the Marvel run at about 130, issue 130. That's where I know, know him from. And a uh, very cool uh, looking figure. And guys, we got two little visitors. Mr. Killiam and Mr. Liam. We know it's free. So, hey, it's check it out. You know, so, uh, that was Laser Viper. Tune in next week as we will be, let me get next week's video set up. And next week we will be doing the Volcano Viper, which I'll be actually reviewing him at my sister and brother's house here, uh, later on. So, check that video out when he comes up next week. But this has been the Laser Viper. You know, so thanks for tuning in. See y'all in the next one. And as always on Cobra Island, now you know and knowing is half the battle. See you in the next one. Peace.